to the Apple Podcast, the podcast that makes a personal connection to everything Apple. Well, the new iPhone 5 has been released and everyone is very excited. They've already sold out of pre-orders. And then there's iOS 6, which is coming out next week. When it does come out and I have a chance to review it, that will be my next episode. But for this episode, I want to focus on an application for the iPhone and iPad. It's called Video to Photo. It's designed by Francis Bonin, and it's $1.99 in the App Store. It's pretty simple. Now, I know you've been in these situations where you were taking some video footage of an event, maybe a graduation or a wedding or something like that. And while you were videotaping, you kind of wish you could have caught that key moment on camera where you could have taken that photograph instead of the video. Well. You have the video footage, so you can easily pull a nice photo from that. Yet, some people find that somewhat difficult to do. However, when you have the right application, it's pretty easy. And video to photo enables you to do just that. It's made for the iPhone and iPad. I'm going to go ahead and pull it up on my iPad, and I'm going to show it on the screen behind me so that you can see. So the first thing you do is you you tap on the icon in the top left and that's how you access your your library and you bring up your video footage and you will see that your video footage is now spread out into one long film strip and you can just scroll through with your finger by just swiping from left to right or right to left or using the scroll bar on the bottom when you find a photo that you like you select it and then you could either save to your camera roll, email, send it to iTunes file sharing, copy print, or send to Twitter. Now you can also crop it while you're in this mode too. And you can just do that by just sliding the sliders from left to right or right to left or top to bottom or bottom to top. And once you're satisfied, click done. And then you can save your final photo. It's really that simple. And you notice how easy the user interface is. I think that's why I like this application the best. It's well designed. And it's designed the same way for the iPhone. So let me go ahead and pull the iPhone version up real quick just so you can see. And once again, whether it's in vertical or horizontal mode, you can import your video footage by tapping on the icon in the top left and then scrolling through with your finger until you found the video footage that you want or again using the scroll bar along the bottom you can flip horizontally and do the same thing pretty nice I've been using this app so much mainly because it's well designed and it gets the job done anyway thanks for tuning in to my Apple podcast you can check me out at myapplepodcast.com or you can email me at myapplepodcast at gmail.com check you out later